Hey class, it's Nick. Uh, I just got an update for you on the uh, Sun Study tutorial. So originally I had shown you guys a method uh, using SketchUp uh, that, that was nice because it was real time, um, had those really crisp shadows. Uh, I'm actually going to show you a way to do it in Rhino 5. So this is actually new to me. I, I didn't realize that this was a new feature of uh, Rhino 5, uh, which which really just, just actually came out last uh, fall. Um, but uh, Rhino actually has the capability to do real-time shadows uh, with a with a kind of a soft shadow. Um, so in order to do this, you have to have Rhino 5, and I'm I'm not sure if this works on the Mac version, but uh, it definitely works on my PC version. If you go in, uh, you got all these tabs here. You got standard tab. Go to Render Tools. Click on the uh, sun, little sunglasses here, and you're gonna want to go ahead and click on you know turn the sun uh, on. And if you go to rendered view, you'll actually get uh, shadows. Okay. Now these look at they're kind of fuzzy, not so not so great, uh, but they're there. And if you notice, if you change the time of day, you'll actually get uh, real time shadows and uh, and that kind of sunlight uh, thing. So that's that's kind of nice. Um, what we need to do though is we need to change the date. Uh, it's 2000 right now change it to now and then you can you can look at different times of year um, again we want to look at uh, June 21st uh, you know look at it at you know noon thereabouts you know nine o'clock maybe three o'clock right that's a good that's a good sequence um, you want to make sure that the location is correct you want to type in New York make sure that New York is selected okay otherwise you don't have the right latitude and longitude it's not going to work for you um, the other thing you, you need to do, if you're not seeing shadows, um, some graphics cards may not be able to display the shadows because they're actually being displayed using the 3D render uh, shader as opposed to the uh, polygons that you see when you're looking at um, uh, things in SketchUp. Uh, the other thing you want to do, so, so anyway, you want to basically check that out. Go to File, uh, Properties, you want to look at your display models, uh, display modes. Go to rendered view because that's where this is working. Uh, go to shadows. Now, if you update the uh, shadow properties, you can sharpen them a little bit by increasing the memory usage of your graphics card. That'll slow things down a bit, but it increases the accuracy of the shadows. You can uh, look at the soft edge quality, and then again, that's going to also cost you a little bit. Um, you can do edge blurring. All these kind of affect the. Uh, the kind of quality of the shadow, uh, but I, the only one I really recommend messing with is, is kind of sharper shadows. I think it, it gives you that kind of SketchUp look, uh, but um, inside Rhino, it's nice because you don't have to export the thing to Rhino. So uh, um, I do I do recommend this method um, at least to experiment with it. Besides looking at this in SketchUp, um, the other thing you want to do you don't get the lines you get in SketchUp, and if if that if that bothers you. You can go into the edge, uh, surface edge settings, and uh, just add uh, one pixel thickness. The other thing you want to make sure, if it's not working, is go to lighting method. Make sure you're using scene lighting. If you have default or no lighting, that ain't gonna help you. Okay, so go to scene lighting. That gives you the sun, and I want to say, you know, everything else is looking pretty good. So. Um, you know, that should be uh, pretty close to your defaults anyway. But uh, this is a nice thing I just that I just discovered. Like, I'm really happy that we can uh, do this all in Rhino now. Uh, that'll allow us to use our different uh, camera views, you know, that you may have set up. Again, looking at uh, the summer solstice, that's June 21st, uh, 9, noon, and 3 o'clock. Uh, looking at the, you know, the equinox which we're coming up on, uh, you know, maybe looking at things like in March, um, you know, say March 15th, perhaps, those same times of day. Okay, and then of course the uh, winter solstice, right, in December, looking at December, maybe 21st or so. Again, noon, 3 o'clock, wow, lots of shadow there, and 9 o'clock. So, if you look at that, that'll give you a pretty good uh, understanding of your site. Make sure you put cameras in so that you're looking at these 
each one of your massing designs um, consistently. The same view, it's the same, you know, nine uh, times that we just discussed, three different days of the year, three different times a day, that gives you a really nice range of understanding um, the, the, the sort of impact of the sun uh, on your site. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in class.